Hello. Let's do a video on comparing the physical strength between different people since I have become kind of a scientist in that regard as of late. Um, it's an interesting thing to contemplate and a good thing to know about, um, to know, to give you hope, to know that you can stay fit for a long time if you take care of your body, um, but also to know that you do lose your physical strength as you get older. So uh, it could motivate you to, or it motivates me, to uh, stay strong because I know I can, but also to get strong because I know that I will lose my opportunity to be really strong um, forever if I wait too long. Um, or if I wait too long, and then I think if you don't if you don't exercise and you let yourself get out of shape for too long, then you will not have the same um, talent as somebody who has been exercising regularly, because you'll close off the nutrient pathways permanently, the little um, capillaries and all that stuff, and then create little pockets of toxins that stay there and stuff that you can't reverse very easily. Um, so, um, in movies they have lots of these like old dudes, excuse me, who totally kick ass at Battlefield. And they're like killing guys left, right, and center, you know, and sometimes you could be like, well is that realistic? Because all the old guys I know that you could kick their ass, you know, they can't even like walk up the stairs. Um, but, um, you know, like in that movie Braveheart, where Braveheart's friend's dad, he's like 70 years old, and he's like, argh, and he's kicking ass. Well, um, it is realistic, according to my scientific findings. Um, <laughs> the scientific experiments that I'm going on are the rowing machine. It's an indoor rowing machine, the Concept 2 rowing machine. And um, I think it's the perfect um, tool to use if you wanted to gauge physical fitness, physical strength overall. <sighs> like I think somebody who's really athletic generally but doesn't do the rowing machine a lot could jump on that rowing machine and after like a week could be, um, could be kicking ass pretty much close to the best people. Um, in their age bracket. You know, like Terry Crews could probably pick up a rowing machine and in like a week of getting his body used to it could uh, could be could be posting times that are similar to, you know, strongest guys in his age group are like 43 years old. So, um, because I, it's a really good overall uh, movement. It is, it's your, it's your legs. <sighs> Your thighs, your hamstrings, um, your back as you pull back, your, your, you have to hold back, and then your abs as you go forward, but mainly your shoulders, mainly your shoulders and your arms. And, and it's power, it's like how strong you are in power. So that's kind of similar to like battle, if you're on the battlefield trying to compare how, how realistic it is, because those are power moves, snaps. And also endurance. Um, so it's strength, endurance, whole body, upper body mainly, and um, but your heart as well, your heart and your lungs. Uh, you can't. It's you sweat like a pig when you do it, and um, so it favors people who are bigger because um, the recoil takes so long. Um, um, you know, kind of like a little dog can't run as fast um, as a big dog because the legs are little. It's like, blah, blah, blah. but also I think it mainly uh, favors bigger people because it um, because uh, bigger people are just stronger. They have more muscle to to use. Um, so it does. I guess it would favor men as opposed to women. Um, and the women and the people who do excel on those. Um, rowing machines aren't like, you know, the men aren't like my size. The women would be like my size or bigger. 
the men, like the guy with the record is for 2000 is 6'7", and the guy with the junior record is 6'9". The girl with the junior record is 6'6", six, six. and then she has another record, and then this other girl with one of the junior records is 6'4", and you know, a bunch of them are 6'3", so it does favor big people, but um, um, like my, my body type is more like for biking, I think. But uh, but uh, but they do have different divisions for lightweight. And those people do pretty well, <laughs> too. But my scientific findings have shown me that, um, and I've done um, 500 meter, two, um, 1,000 meter, mainly 2,000 meter. Um, that's the one that everybody does, and that's the main one you look at because everybody comes and does that. And I think everybody in all age brackets. <laughs> train their asses off they pretty much all train you know they've rode their whole life and they train as much as their body can handle so that pretty much shows and there's lots of competition so it pretty much shows the physical potential for that sex and age bracket on the 2000 um, but I've also got data for 5,000 6,000 10,000 uh, 30 minute 60 minute um, half marathon marathon and 100 kilometers um, now the reason that I did that, that I collected all the numbers, is because I really wanted to get myself into physical shape. Um, but the main thing that I needed to do as far as getting myself into physical shape was um, I wanted to get my lungs, open up my lungs and push my body really hard so that I had to start really breathing deep, forcing my health to breathe deep and breathe hard and get my heart rate up as high as I can to try to cure my asthma. I have a really bad asthma. and. <laughs> It gets really bad if I don't exercise, and I can kind of, it becomes kind of manageable if I do exercise a lot. So it was really important for me to do that, and I noticed that the Gold's Gyms, uh, not all Gold's Gyms, but it's standard equipment in a lot of Gold's Gyms, hopefully a lot. I called around, uh, it seems like maybe half or almost half of them have them. Uh, it's a concept too, it's the same rolling machine, and they have all the times for the people, even on YouTube, and it's also a big CrossFit exercise, so it's a really big thing and they so people like to take their time so you can take you can compare yourself with all these other people and what I've found is that is that uh, well number one if you, I, I would say that I've, I've done the race myself I haven't done the race myself with all of them but I've done it with the 500 the thousand the 2,000 the 5,000 and the 10,000 and um, so I think I represent in, in, the, in the state that I am now, which is zero exercise after seven months, but before that I'm, I was of, I was of above average physical strength. So I think after seven months of not exercising at all, uh, realistically speaking, that probably takes me back down to about average physical strength for a man my age. Um, the reason I say that, I mean, you might think, oh my God, you're exaggerating. Like, you know, you're, you're, you're less than average um, if you haven't done anything for seven months. But um, the fact of the matter is that most people, they don't really do anything their whole lives. So, um, um, plus I went into a gym once and um, I got a membership at a gym in Boulder a few years ago, like three or four years ago or something. And there was this trainer there, this like really tall, like fit, girl named can't remember her name a trainer she, who I went to high school with actually she didn't remember me but uh, she gave me the uh, the tour around you know you get the membership and you get the tour around and so she's showing me how to do the machines and I'm on the arm curl machine and I do as many as I can it was like set of 10 to 80 pounds or something and, and I was like oh man I'm not strong you know because I was way weighed like 163 you know 13 and a half inch arms and She's like, actually, the average is, and she, she named some number, like, you know, only, like, only the average guy can do, like, 10 reps at 50 pounds or something. And I was shocked. I was like, what? So, you know, the fact of the matter is, is your average guy isn't strong. Your average person is not strong. Um, when I did the rowing machine, I could tell that I was not strong. Um, it's kind of like your, your muscles are asleep. Um, and when you're, mu when you're in shape, there's different gauges that I use for in shape. When I'm in shape, I can work all day one day and then the next day I'm fresh. When I'm in shape, my appetite is, is up and I'm, and I'm eating a lot. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm not in shape in either of those two, two uh, criteria right now. My appetite is not kicked in and I can't work out all day and be fresh the next day. And the other one is um, when you exercise, 
you can feel your muscles, like your muscles are awake. Like if you push yourself hard, your muscles will burn. If you're out of shape, you could push yourself as hard as you want and your muscles won't ever burn because your muscles just don't have, I guess, the pathways of the, the, all the little capillaries and veins and stuff aren't dilated and there's just not like reserve of um, nutrients in the muscles or the muscle fibers themselves aren't, are closed and dormant and encased in toxins. I don't know what the physical reason is, but um, when you're in shape, you can actually feel your muscles and your muscles burn if you push and you can feel how you're stronger. And I'm not in that in shape in that regard, but so I would say that I'm about average. And so according to, according to science, I'm about as I'm in my shit, the average male in my stead right now is about as strong as an 80 year old man as the, as the 80 year old super warrior man and about the 60 year old super warrior woman. Um, so, um, so that either tells you that the average person is really, really weak or the super warriors are really, really strong. Um, so it kind of brings you back to, you know, those movies of like Braveheart, um, Friends, Dad, or these other movies that they have like the old warrior, the old king, and then he's fighting and he's kicking ass and he's doing well. Um, well, they can do well and they can kick ass, um, you know, they could, they could go one on one to one against as an 80 year old guy could go one to one against a normal dude. And back in those days, maybe that's realistic, you know, like if you have like the Vikings, those Viking guys. Oh, and another cool thing about rowing is rowing is a really like, uh, primal movement. It's, 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 it's like as basic and old as walking and running itself. We've, we've always rowed boats across the ocean. We've rowed boats up rivers, across fjords. Rowing is something that we've done since, the, since we learned how to make a boat, you know. It probably came like five minutes after they invented the paddle for kayaking, and then they go away, the rowing's better. So um, it's, it's a basic movement. And, um, um, but it's a movement more about strength than uh, physical strength than like um, that uh, probably like most similar to like battle like wielding an, uh, a huge axe or a, or a sword um, than like running which would favor just light skinny person so um, that's why I named it like strength um, but uh, if you get like one of these like Viking warrior dudes who's, who's rowing all the time on his Viking ship and, uh, and, and like practicing his battle axe on the trees and they're out there living their life, you know, toiling the soil and stuff and being warriors. And then they come across these like, you know, like Lindisfarne and they come across the, the, the monks and um, who just pray all day long, you know, or like a scholar who doesn't exercise. Um, you could, you, and then you put one, uh, you put an 80 year old uh, Viking up against a 35 year old monk that's going to, when they have, both have swords, they're both going to be the same strength, but the Viking's going to kill the monk because he knows his technique with the sword. So uh, that's just to put it into perspective. And a 70 year old man is about as strong, is way stronger than me. 70 year old man is about as strong as a 12 year old boy. So a 12 year old boy, super warrior boy, is way stronger than an average 35 year old man. Um, and you know they can run faster, but I mean like stronger as far as on the rowing machine too. Um, and a, uh, and, it's, and then it, as you go in, like a 60 year old man is, is like really strong. Um, that would be like, kind of like um, Rocky Balboa in the movie Rocky VI. He would represent a 60 year old man. And he's about as he's about of equal strength as a uh, as the strongest woman, a sixty-year-old man and, a, and the strongest woman, and a sixty-year-old man and like a thirteen-year-old boy or a twelve-year-old boy would be a, would would all be about well, you know on the rowboat would all be rowing the same sixty-year-old man, 20, 25 year old woman and twelve-year-old boy. The physical peak is between twenty-five and thirty-five. Um, and as a general rule of thumb, a man would be about as strong as a woman 20 years younger than him. So an 80-year-old man is as strong as a 60-year-old woman. A 60-year-old man is as strong as a 40-year-old woman, which is kind of at the tail end of when you're at your physical peak a little bit. Physical peak is like 25 to 35 or, you know, up to 40 maybe. But once you're into your, like, mid-40s, you're not, you're, you're out of, you're not, you're not up there anymore. 
Um, and you can hit your physical peak at like 18. So, um, so like, yeah, so like an 18 year old girl would be as strong as like a 60 year old man. Um, so, um, but yeah, so like if, if an 80 year old man is as strong as an average 35 year old man, then a 70 year old man is way stronger than a 35, average 35 year old man. And a 60 year old woman is way stronger than an average 35 year old man. And a, like an 18 year old woman, actually like a, a 12 year old woman is, is stronger than a 35 year old man. Uh, a 12 year old warrior woman is stronger than an average 35 year old man. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, anyways, let's analyze it on the website. I think I've talked, ooh, 16 minutes I've talked enough. All right, let's go. Okay, so let's get going analyzing the strength levels between people scientifically. So let's go over to the Kyle's Gym page. And then we shall go down. Let's start with the big 2000. This is the one that everybody goes for. So the strongest guy ever is 32 years old, Rob Waddle, six foot seven. Um, and when he, and he did it in three minute, five minutes and 36 seconds, 0.6. But when he was a lightweight, he did it in 558. And I think that's like a hat under 150 pounds. So the bigger you are, the stronger you are. So 336 seconds is the 100% um, maximum. And then you get the 34-year-old, and then the 24-year-old, and then the 22-year-old, and the 20-year-old, and the 21-year-old. So basically, you're talking like you're your physical peak is between 21 and, um, and 32, you know, through your 20s and early 30s. And then well, by the time you're in your early 40s, you're a little bit lower. But you're still up there. You're still nipping at the heels in your early 40s. You know, you're up there. That guy's 41's ahead of the, night, the fastest. See, these are all the fastest times for that age, that particular age. So the fastest 41-year-old is faster than the fastest 19-year-old. So you're still up there in the early 40s. That gives me hope because I'm 37 and a half. So and then 16-year-olds are strong, no, but not not quite as strong as a 41. So 41 and 16 is comparable, but 41 is a little bit stronger. Um, and this this is you know five minutes. So and then 18 and 42, 17, 43. Um, 15 so 15 here's here's where you start to get a little bit weaker 15 you're not quite 100 percent strong but you're up there and uh, and then 45 you're starting to slow down so 15 and 45 is about the same but a 15 year old is actually a little bit stronger than a 45 year old and then you get a little bit slower as you get older like this same guy uh, one year later he lost two seconds so poor guy so um, and then uh, I don't have times on all these because I got some of the data from other other lo locations. And then we get into the 50s. So um, you know this is like uh, Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger kind of in the 15 years ago. You know in the latter days of their careers. Um, these guys, and as you get a little bit older, they get a little bit slower. So by the time a man it gets to about 60. That's about when he's level with the strongest women who are, you know, late 20s, early 30s. So, um, you know, like Sylvester Stallone um, in Rocky Six was about 60. So he'd be about as strong as the strongest woman. Um, Rowan down, Rowan or, you know, even on the battlefield, I think women could... Could, uh, if they can row, they can do the battlefield and the gladiatorial arena just as well, too. So, um, yeah, so then a 16-year-old man would be about as strong as a 13-year-old boy. So a 15-year-old boy would be about as strong as a 45-year-old man. So now a 61-year-old man is a 13-year-old boy. And then, uh, then you get into, like, the strongest girls here. And the strongest girls are also big, like 6'4". 
in, in, in this in this particular in rowing. Um, but same thing for like for like war, like if you're dressed up in a knight outfit, it'd probably be the same thing. So, 62 year old man is is not as strong as the strongest women, but he's stronger than than like the other stronger women. So, like a 16 a 62 year old man would be equal to a 18 year old woman, um, and a little bit slower than a 13 year old boy. So, an 18 year old woman is a little a little bit slower, a tad slower than a 13 year old boy. Um, and then, so here we are, 63 year old men, they're kind of interspersed with the stronger women. Um, so like a 65 year old man would be as strong as, a str as one of the strong women, but not the strongest. Um, and then you get like 41 year old women, they're up there, they can still, they're kind of nipping at the heels of the strongest, but they're not the strongest of the women. And then 16 year old women. Um, are about as strong as a 65 year old man and um, and then oh that's that's just me because that's what's what I hope to get in maybe like a month or in a couple of months that's what my level is now compared to right at about seven minutes is about the strongest uh, like college girls it's about what a strong college girl can expect to be. Um, so that's where I'm shooting for in the next couple of months, be as strong as a strong college girl. And I guess this, the college guys would be like one of these dudes up here, up in like the 540s or something. So, um, so as you can see, I'm not as strong as a, not close to being as strong as a 66 year old man, Superman. So, or an 18 year old super girl, <laughs> um, or even a 16 year old super girl. I'm not even, not even close yet. Um, so yeah, like a, even, even like a girl, like a 16 year old girl Viking could go and beat the crap out of like an average monk. Um, in a battle. Okay, so let's see here. 67, 69. Um, okay, here we are into the 70 year old men. They're still up there. They're still hanging in. So a 70 year old, 72 year old man is about as strong as a 46 year old woman. So that's like that 20 year old rule 70 versus 50. Not quite as strong as a 46 year old woman, but a little bit stronger than a 50 year old woman. So. Um, say 73, 50, 53, 20 year difference. 12 year old boy, about as strong as a 70 year old man. Um, and, um, or a 50 or 55 year old woman. So a 55 year old woman, about as strong as a 12 year old boy. So then we get older and older. Um, yeah, like a 15-year-old girl, strong as a 78-year-old man. And then we're in the 80s. So here we are. I'm nipping at the heels. An average 37-year-old man is almost as strong as a super Superman of 83 years old. So you could picture like the 83-year-old like Viking super warrior dude coming in and I will fight the battles too. And he goes in there and he's like, clanking swords with with the surprised like monk who prays all day long and uh, kills the monk the 35 year old monk so so the movies are true here's some pictures of them I only collected the girls because I couldn't find pictures of the guys or I didn't have the time to actually I could have if I looked I got some of them so there's the strongest girl um, so yeah these girls they're 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 big I think rower girls are my favorite girls now because they're super tall. I like super tall chicks. I like chicks who are dressed in spandex and I like chicks who are like super smart. All these girls go to like Ivy League schools and like super young. So, yeah, like that girl's 6'6". Six, six. And see, upper body strength. She's got a whole bunch of like muscles there. And, um, 
And most of these girls are about six feet tall, unless I wrote here, unless they're like six three, like that girl is. So, um, that girl is a girl who I want to try and beat because she's cute. But she, it's going to take me a while to get up there. And, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I like to know, I like to put faces to my competition as I work my way up the ranks. I should have put this guy in the top, but that's the guy who has the record. He's this big 6'7", like, super muscular dude. Um, and there's the dude who has the junior record. He's 6'9". And there's me. I represent the average 35-year-old man. Um, and here's a 90-year-old, 93-year-old man. And he did it in 1083. And I did mine in 806. So I'm definitely stronger than the 93-year-old super warrior. So that says something. Um, I'm about as much stronger as the 93-year-old super warrior as somebody who gets like a, um, a 530. Um, so like the strongest man. So, so there you go, man. And that's the proper, that's, that's the machine that you do the test, and that's the proper, uh, what do you call it, the proper uh, form. So, pretty much holds true for the other ones. Let's, let's go and do the other ones really quickly. Um, 500 meter, this, so this is the sprint. You would think that, okay, like, I think like old, what, like, can older people do better in endurance? Or is it, or is it pretty much the same? Well, look, it looks like it's pretty much the same as far as ages. Strongest guys, same age, 30 years old. But then 18 year old guys nipping at the heels. So I think shorter distance, like power stuff, younger people can do a little bit better. They excel a little bit more um, than like the old longer distance stuff. Um, it's more like VO2 max stuff, like how much your lungs can um, process. So. A 500 meter distance would probably be more similar to like a, a battle on the battlefield because this is this stuff is done over in a minute and a half just like a battle would so um, yeah strongest girl is about as strong as a 41 year old man um, and before it was like a 60 year old man so yeah um, shorter distance uh, favors younger people. Yeah, 17 year old woman is a, is in between a uh, 41 year old man and a 60 year old man. So maybe like a 50 year old man. So uh, 50 year old Superman. This is me. This is like the average. He's like way down there. About the same as a 68 year old woman or a slower actually than an 81 year old man. <laughs> So being in shape actually helps uh, these lower distances more. Um, but yeah, 40-year-old woman, um, actually a lot stronger than a 70-year-old man. 70-year-old man is about the same as a 50-year-old woman here. But I guess you can't really compare it so much because this is not as, as uh, um, competitive as a 2,000-meter one. So anyways... There's that. Oh, and here's here's some faces to it. <laughs> okay. Let's go to 1,000 meter. And you can anybody can do the test to find out where they where they stand in here. I'm gonna actually tell the Gold's Gym. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna offer to print my little diagrams and put them on their walls, so people can get up there. And because like most a lot of Gold's Gyms have those concept two rowers. So let's see, 1,000 meter, strongest guys. I don't know how old this guy is, but he's probably like early, late 30s or early 30s, late 20s. So 44-year-old guys nipping at the heels, a little bit stronger than an 18-year-old guy. So pretty much is about the same. 60-year-old man is about is like a little bit stronger than the strongest woman. But the strongest, the strongest 17-year-old woman is just about as strong as the strongest woman. So women pretty much hit their peak at about 17. I know in like swimming, some of the, the girl who got the gold medal in the swim race and beat Dara Torres last time, 
by one one hundredth of a second was fifteen. So it's that VO2 max, man. Their their lungs are fresh, so they can get all that power. So, but anyway, a seventeen-year-old woman, a little bit stronger than a seventy-year-old man. Thirty-two-year-old woman, strongest thirty-two-year-old woman is about as strong, a little bit stronger than the strongest eleven-year-old man. So there's that twenty-year difference thing again. So. Um, yeah, seventy year old man, forty six year old woman, twenty year twenty year old, seventy year old man, fifty year old woman, twenty year old rule. Yep, eighty to sixty, the twenty year year rule I call it. But a ten year old girl actually is a little bit stronger than an eighty year old man. And a ten year old woman actually is way stronger than me. <laughs> way stronger than your average thirty five year old man. <laughs> So if you get like if you put like a if you if if you have one of the like a larger than average Viking girl, six foot Viking girl, and she's only ten years old, give her a sword and she can jump in there and kill kill some monks, <laughs> kill armed monks. Okay, so I'm about as strong as a seventy one year old woman, but I'm stronger than the ninety year old man. Ha uh ha. -huh. Or the 80 year old, and uh, stronger than the 93 year old woman and the 80 year old woman, so I'm definitely not at the bottom of the pack. Okay. So let's go back. 1500. Let's look at that one really quick. I don't know which one of these girls is Flavie Boobate. Maybe it's that one. The one with the big arms. Um, but, uh,. I'm kind of, I'm not that much farther below her. I'm kind of between a 16-year-old girl and a 16-year-old boy um, in the 1500. So. And, um, and then the 5,000. Strongest guy, like I said before, early 30s, followed by mid-20s. mid, mid 20s. So that's about when your range is. And then when you're 40, you're not as strong, but you're, but you're nipping at the heels. You're still worthy, and you can still beat 32-year-olds, and a 50-year-old even can still hang in there, and the 16-year-old guys can hang in there, and even the 60 the 60-year-old guys aren't 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 can't hang, can't throw down with the with the the strongest guys, but they're a little bit stronger than the strongest women though. So, um. And, uh, yeah, 43-year-old woman is the second strongest woman. A little bit stronger than an 18-year-old woman. So, yeah, here's that 20-year-old, 20-year rule again. 71-year-old man, about as strong as a 52-year-old woman. Um, about as strong as a 25-year-old woman as well, so. Uh, 13-year-old girl, about as strong as a 10-year-old boy. So, it takes men a little bit longer to, uh, develop than women. But uh, yeah, so a 60 year old woman about as strong as an 80 year old man, as you can see. 20 year old rule, 20 year rule. Or an 80 year old man is about as strong as a 12 year old boy. And sometimes a 70 year old man is strong as a 12 year old boy in this case. Um, but a 12 year old boy is actually not that much stronger than a 12 year old girl in this case. Um, but. But then here's me, the average 37-year-old man is about as strong as a 12-year-old uh, girl or a 71-year-old man. So, and there's the 12-year-old girl right there. And um, there's there's one of the stronger uh, girls. Uh, let's see, 1841. She's up here. This girl. About as strong as a... So this girl's about as strong as a 71-year-old man. Should have the pictures of the guys, but I, I googled the guys' names and none of them show up. The only people whose names show up are the ones who are the girls who are in college, because they're connected to their university competitions. There are pictures of guys rowing, but you don't know what their times are. Pictures of the guys rowing and the times of the guys rowing aren't the same. And I need to attach a time to a photo, but they pretty much look like totally jacked dudes. You know, you'd think that they're. 25 years old if you didn't see the wrinkles in their faces so even the 70 year old guys so let's see here's a 6,000 meter strongest guy yeah early 30s don't have the strongest guy but yeah 18 40 24 51 
So yeah, strongest girl is 20, and then 18 in this one. Um, same girl, so she got a 21, 40, 14, and then she, she got six seconds faster, faster in two years. And she's about as strong as the strongest 62 year old dude. So strongest like high school girl is about as strong as like Rocky Balboa in Rocky Six. Um, okay. So yeah, 60 year old man is about as strong as the strongest woman, or almost as strong. 70 year old man is about uh, up there with the strong girls. Oops. And um, here's that 20 year old, it's 20 year old, oh, here's a 10 year old rule actually. 81 year old man is strong as 60, 69 year old one. 80 year old man about as strong as a 12 year old girl. Um, and, oh, I haven't done this one yet. My guess is, I haven't done it yet, my guess is I'll probably be about as strong as a, this looks like a weak 12 year old boy. He's weak, he's weaker than the 12 year old girl. 12 year old girls are usually stronger than me though, or this one is. So I'll probably be, I'm going to shoot for about it being as strong as this 12 year old girl. Or this 80, 80 year old woman? Okay, maybe as strong as between the 12 year old girl and the 71 year old man. So that's what I'll set my pacer for. You can get the ergo meter, and you just punch in that as a split, and then they have a pace book for you to follow. You can even punch it in to the hundredth of a second, which I should have done. I could have figured the hundredth of a second mathematically on this, but I didn't because I didn't realize the ergo meter. You could punch the pace in to a hundredth of a second, so or a tenth of a second. So, anyways, yeah, punch that in. See if I can beat the twelve, the seventy-one-year-old woman or the eighty-year-old man. I'll go after. Or the 12 year old girl. This 12 year old girl. So, that's the 6,000. And then there's the 10,000. I did this race. Uh, strongest man. I don't have his age, but he'll probably be maybe late 20s. Then followed by a 20 year old and a 31 year old are the same strength. So you're, you're in your prime. Through your 20s and 30s, basically, for 20 years you get you get to party it up, <laughs> and then you start to slow down. But you don't have to slow down that much. You can still pretend that you're badass. Like this guy's pretty much a badass, and he's 40. He's just hanging with the 18-year-olds, and even the 50-year-old dude here is only 93.8. He's only here, so he's noticeably slower, but he's not. He's still tough. He's about as big, as strong as a 14-year-old boy. Um, so, and then 61 year old man is about as strong as the strongest woman, so, who's 20, um, and she's a little stronger than the strongest 70 year old man, who's a little bit stronger than the strongest 18 year old girl. So then we move down, Let's see if we get that 20 year old, see, 52 year old woman, 74 year old man, 52 is a little bit stronger than the 74. But he's a little bit stronger than another 52. Um, 60 year old woman's about as strong as 11 year old boy. 12 year old girl's about as strong as an 81 year old man. And um, 70 year old man is stronger than me, the average 37 year old man. So, but I'm stronger than the strongest 11 year old boy. So, and I bet you if they threw an 80 year old man, maybe I'd be stronger than him too. So. Um, so this girl, let's go down and see who these people are. There's a 12 year old girl who is, um, for some reason my thing isn't scrolling, who is actually a lot stronger than me. <laughs> and then that girl is a girl who I'm going to go after because she's cute. And that's this girl here. So she's about, she's actually closer to the strongest man than I am to her. So I've got some people to climb over before I get to her. She's that girl, and she's 15. So 15-year-old girl is closer to the strongest man than I am to her. But she's, you know, in shape. Muscular. Um, but not totally muscular. Um, just in shape, you know, not like jacked, but strong. And then there's me. 
All right, let's go back. My computer doesn't want to scroll. Let's see if I can even, even, even let it go back. My computer's starting to not, not want to. Uh, let's, see, let's try this one more time. All right, let's go to the next one. Thirty minutes. This is how fast you can, how far you can go in thirty minutes. Um, and then you have is how far you can go in 60 minutes. And then you do the half marathon, and then the marathon, and then rowing 100 kilometers as well. So I'm going to give that one a try. Um, I'm going to have to turn this off and turn it back on, though, because my computer is frozen. OK, I rebooted Windows, and we'll see if we can get this thing kicking again. I had a movie running in the background. Maybe that's what happened. Yeah, see, now it's scrolling. OK. So, strongest man rowing for 30 minutes. He went 9,203 meters, and he's late 20s to early 30s is where the strongest dudes are. Um, but then you got a 42-year-old dude hanging in there. So if you take care of yourself, man, you can hang in there in your early 40s. So I got in like another five years. So I'm going to spend the next five years being as badass as I can because it's going to be the last opportunity that I get to be totally badass. But then you get a 51-year-old, so then I can be like a totally awesome, almost totally badass at 51. So, um, and then 62, you can still be stronger than the strongest girl, stronger than the strongest 18-year-old boy. So this guy's badass, T.J. Stur T.J. Osterling. Wish I had a picture of him. So then the strongest girl, big, 6'3", um, is about as strong as the strongest. Wow. Like the strongest 20 year old girl is as strong as the strongest 18 year old boy. So, uh, almost as strong as the strongest 18 year old boy. Hmm. Interesting. So sometimes the girls can be as strong. And the upper body. This is rowing upper body. So, clanking, clanking swords as well. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, 65 year old man is noticeably weaker. And the strongest girls, like the strongest 20 year old girl, but he's stronger than the strongest 32 year old woman. This is the uh, 30 minutes, so I guess not. This is not something that like everybody trains for to try to go. Everybody goes to, goes after the 2000, so it's not as like it's not as accurate, but still worth having a gander's at. So, yeah, 70 year old man, a little bit stronger than the strongest 13 year old girl. Um. 71 year old man, a little bit stronger than the strongest 43 year old woman. So now we've got like a 30 year old going, but 50 year old woman, so 20 year old rule. 62 year old woman versus 81 year old man, that 20 year rule again. Um, 12 year old girl is about as strong as a 67 year old woman. Um, 70 year old woman, a little bit stronger than a 88 year old man, so 70 to 90, there's that 20 year rule again. Um, I don't know what my split is. I'm going to go after, I think, you know, after looking at those other ones, this girl is definitely stronger than me. So I'm going to go after about the 70-year-old woman, the 88-year-old man. I'll see if I can beat the 88-year-old man. Go after the 88-year-old man here. So here's the strongest girls. Tall, tall and lanky. Some of them are muscular, though, and, like, big bigger than I am now. More muscle than I've got now. Okay. 60 minutes. 34-year-old man and a 27-year-old man. Those are the strongest dudes. But 43-year-old man up there. Even stronger than a 29-year-old man or an 18-year-old man. So, 16-year-old man's about a little bit stronger. And the strongest woman is 36. She's a little stronger than the strongest man. He's 60. So 60 is about represents like almost as strong as the strongest women across the board with all these exercises. 70 year old men can still hang, beat like 31 year old women though. So you can be 70 and still beat all of the women except for one. So 70 year old men, man, they can, they can be gray hairs and old and get out there and terrorize those monks, those, those clergy who don't exercise. That's hard. Who do yoga? <laughs>
Okay. So, moving on down the line, getting a little bit slower as you get older, like this woman. She, uh, 69, she did 13,746, and then it went down to 605 at 70. So you can see how they get slower, and then it went down to 409. We're getting slower and slower every year. But she's only as, she's about as strong as a guy, 8, 12, 11 years older than her, though. But yeah, the rule, 12 year old girl is about as strong as, or a 12 year old boy is about as strong as a 7 year old one. Or a little bit stronger, not that much stronger than a 12 year old girl though. 12 is, um, 11 is probably, 10 and 11 is probably where boys and girls are about the same strength. And then 12 boys, maybe they may be like shorter, but they're still a little bit, they're still, get, they're, they're stronger by then. Um... Oh, but she's stronger than that 12 year old boy because sometimes you get boys who are late bloomers okay nine year old girl is about as strong as an 80 year old woman so 70 year rule for the women uh, we don't have any super old men on this one okay half marathon um, did I do this one? no I haven't done this one yet so 13.44 miles, 21,097 meters. Strongest dude, well, 27, yeah, late 20s, early 30s, early 30s. With then, the, ooh, with a 43-year-old guy nipping at his heels, man. Cool, man, that's encouraging. And then the 51-year-old dude nipping at the heels. I love seeing these old dudes up there, dude. Gives me hope. And then, so yeah, 60-year-old man, a little bit stronger, actually, than the strongest woman, so... What is this? So like hour long stuff? See, see, now we're getting into endurance. So when it comes to endurance, the older people can do well, can do better. 60 year old man is actually better at endurance than the strongest woman. Whereas if this is a short distance, just like power, a 60 year old man would be a little bit weaker than the strongest woman. So, um, 71 year old man actually is almost as strong as the strongest women in this endurance stuff because they're not relying so much on their lungs on their vo2 max their old lungs can still provide enough oxygen for their seasoned muscles that uh you start to rely more on your muscles and rather than like needing to take these huge deep breaths and processing all this oxygen so yeah rowing across the big channel is where the old guy could be like, I can still do this, but then you'd want to watch his back a little bit once you jump on the battlefield and start swinging swords around. Because he just doesn't have the power. But a 70-year-old man, about as strong as a 52-year-old woman. 20-year-old right there. 69-year-old woman, 81-year-old man. Well, there's an 11-year-old rule. Um, so... Uh, 69-year-old woman as strong as, a little bit, almost as strong as 60-year-old woman. And then the 12-year-old boy, a little bit stronger than the 12-year-old girl. So 12-year-old boys are not that much stronger than the 12-year-old girls. They're kind of like the same, around 12. And then the 12-year-old boy, this poor guy, uh, being a late bloomer. Here's some of the people who I'm going to try and beat. That girl's going to kick my ass, 12-year-old girl. She's a bike racer, too. So I'm not going to beat her the first go-around. Or, um, but I'll go after the 12 year old boy, this little guy. The lagger, the runt. Okay. Marathon. This is something that you see. Let's see if the old people can do well on this. Okay, 45 year old dude, second place. See? Older dude's doing better. 54 year old guy. Older dude's doing pretty well. 64 year old guy is even better than, better than the strongest woman at the marathon. Um, but yeah, really young people can do it too. 20 year old girl. So 20 year old here, 52 year old woman, a little bit stronger. <laughs> and a 74 year old man who's a little bit stronger than the 46 year old woman. So, um, 12 year old man is not as strong as an 82 year old man though. Yeah, really young people, they get tuckered out. The old guy can keep going. Um, 
So there's that girl. I think that's the strongest girl. Second strongest girl. College girl. College girl for 2000 is like the mark is like seven minutes. Okay, here's 100, 100, 100 meters. There's a young girl, 20 years old. And there's that other girl. So let's see. I don't know how old this dude is, but second place is 19. And he's not that much stronger. Well, he's a little bit stronger than the girl his age. Uh, 19 year old girl's stronger than the 50 year old woman. But she's stronger than a 20 year old woman. So it's kind of more like. Not as many people do this. I think this one, this one's more like a matter of will, willpower, than anything else. But women are kind of nipping at the heels of the men at these longer ones. So that's my strength level tester. Um, ooh, let me show you really quick. These are some other inter exercises I'm going to invent. All these other ones. I have like uh, all these different like things. You do like five rounds of like all these thingies. And I'll do that on the at the at the bar at the uh, park one of these days. Um, but yeah, you have it all mixed up and everything. Okay, so there you go. Okay, so as a summary, I just I just did my video thing. As a summary, the 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 lesson to learn be learned is that you know even though you do get weaker as you get older, the main difference is between the people who are in shape and strong and the people who are out of shape and weak. That's where the big, big difference is. Um, an 82 year old badass dude could kick the ass, well could beat an average 35 year old dude. A 70 year old dude could kick the ass of an average 35 year old dude. So, you know, which, which group do you want to be in? You want to be in the badass dudes who can go around and kick ass? Or one of those dudes who get your ass kicked? Um, um, you want to be one of the badasses, one of the warrior vikings. Okay.